Hello, everyone. So glad to have you here at the APH Virtual Excel Academy. Today is lights, camera, social interaction. Hmm. Hope you're ready for some social interaction. We are so happy to have you here. Feel free to drop in the chat who you are, where you're from. Would love to say hi. Welcome to the APH Virtual Excel Academy. Today is lights, camera, social interaction. I am so glad to see our friends joining us today. Welcome, welcome. We have a special guest today. Her name is Frankie Ann, and I am going to turn it over to Frankie Ann and let her get going. Welcome again. All right. Hi, everyone. As um, she said, my name is Frankie Ann, and I am so excited to be teaching you guys today. Um, before we get started, I just want to tell you guys a little bit about me and who I am. Um, I am a young adult who also happens to have a vision impairment. Um, I live in New York City, and right now I work for a casting company. So I do a lot with helping other people who have disabilities like me to get acting jobs in TV, film, um, commercials, all that cool stuff. So part of why I do this job is because one thing that I have always loved is acting. I have always loved performing and being on stage. It's always been something that has made me feel really great. And it's something I'm super excited about. So with that in mind, I have a question for all of you to kick things off. I'm going to say three words, and I am wondering if you guys could tell me in the chat what these three words have in common. So the three words are cats, wicked, and frozen. Cats, wicked, and frozen. I wonder what all of these things have in common. Are they all animals? Are they all books? I wonder. So tell me in the chat what these three things have in common. Hmm. Oh, someone is not sure. Oh, Monica stumped. Oh my goodness. Well, then I'm gonna help you guys out. These three things are all different musicals. Cats is a musical, Wicked is a musical, and Frozen is a musical. All three of these shows have been on Broadway recently and they are super fun. So the reason that I'm talking about musicals is because our class today is all about theater. We are gonna have a lot of fun today with some theater games. Now, if you don't like theater, that's okay. Theater is more than just getting up on stage and acting in a scene or in a musical. Theater is just a fun way to let yourself be silly or to interact with other people. So we are going to have a lot of fun with theater games. Um, before we really get into our main games for today, we need to get our bodies warmed up. It's really important when you're acting on stage or just having fun to make sure that your body is ready to go. So the first thing we're gonna do is warm up our body and then we're gonna warm up our voices so that we are ready to go. All right, so our first warm up is called Shake It Out. So how this is gonna go is, I know your cameras are off, but I'd love it if you guys could all try it out. We're gonna hold up our right hand and we're gonna shake it out for 10 seconds. And I'm gonna count it out for everybody. Then after we shake out our right hand, we're gonna shake out our left hand for 10 seconds. After we do it for 10 seconds, we're gonna go down to five, then three, then one. 
So I'm gonna demonstrate. First, we're gonna go right hand for 10 seconds, left hand for 10 seconds, right hand for five seconds, left hand for five seconds, right hand for three, left hand for three, right one, left one, and then we're just gonna shake it out. All right, so we're gonna start on the count of three. We're gonna start with 10 seconds on our right hand. All right, here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Left hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Right hand for five. One, two, three, four, five. Left hand for five. One, two, three, four, five. Right hand for three. One, two, three. Left hand for three. One, two, three. Right hand one. One. Left hand one. One, and now shake out both hands. All right, awesome job, everyone. I know that was kind of silly, but now your arms are all warmed up and we're ready to get things going. Now we're gonna play another game that's gonna really focus on warming up our voices. So when we speak, there's a lot of different places in our body that our voices come from. You can talk really low like this, or you can talk really high like this. And it's important when you are using your voice to have all parts of your voice warmed up and ready to go. So this game is called Fairy Tale Kingdom. Um, it's really fun. I'm really excited to play this with you guys. So I'm going to tell you guys about different fairy tale um, characters. So when I say giant, we are going to put our hands on our belly because a giant speaks from way down in your belly and he has a very deep voice. So when a giant is talking, the sound is coming from down in his belly. So he is pushing his voice out from down here. So when I say giants, I want everybody to feel free to unmute and say with me from way down in your belly, fee, fi, fo, fum. So when I say giants, we all say fee, fi, fo, fum. So giant is our first fairy tale character. Our next fairy tale character is the king and the queen. They speak from a more regal place. Their sound comes from their chest, up on their chest. So when I say king and queen, we're gonna put our hands on our chest and we're going to feel as our chest vibrates and the sound comes out from here. And we're gonna say, I am the ruler of the land. So we have giant, fee, fi, fo, fum, and king and queen, I am the leader of the land. So we're gonna try just those two to start. We're gonna warm up our belly voice and we're gonna warm up our chest voice. So I'm gonna start and you guys can feel free to unmute and say it with me. Yes, if you would like to have your microphone off, you can raise your hand so we can unmute you. If not, that's okay too. So I'm gonna start and the first character I'm gonna say is King and queen. So hands on our chest. I am the ruler of the land. You guys can say it with me. We'll do it one more time on the count of three. One, two, three. I am the ruler of the land. All right. And our next character is going to be giant. So hands on our belly. And here we go. Three two, one, fee, five, fo, thumb. Awesome.
Awesome. Thank you, everyone. So we have a couple more characters that we're going to meet so that we can warm ourselves up a little bit more. The next character that we're going to meet is the prince. The prince speaks from his mouth. So he pushes sound out directly from his mouth. And he says, I am going to slay the dragon. So when the prince speaks, he pushes sound through his mouth and he says, I am going to slay the dragon. So when I say prince, we're all going to say that together. The next character is the witch. The witch speaks through her nose. The witch pushes all of the sound through her nose. So when I say witch, we're going to push the sound through our nose and say, have an apple, my dear. So we have Prince, I am going to slay the dragon. And the witch, have an apple, my dear. All right, so if you would like to say it with me, I'd love to hear it. We're gonna start, I'm gonna pick a character. Hmm, let's see. Should I go with witch or should I go with prince? Hmm, I'm gonna go with witch. So we're gonna put our fingers on our nose and push the sound out and on the count of three say, have an apple, my dear. Here we go. One, two, three. Have an apple, my dear. All right, so next we're gonna go with the prince. We're gonna put our fingers on our, the corners of our mouth and we're gonna say on the count of three, I am going to slay the dragon. On the count of three, one, two, three. I am going to slay the dragon. Awesome, everyone. So we've warmed up our belly voice as the giant. Fee, fi, fo, fum. We've warmed up our chest voice as the king and queen. I am the ruler of the land. We've warmed up our mouth as the prince. I am going to slay the dragon. We've warmed up our nose as the witch. Have an apple, my dear. And we have one more part of our voice that we need to warm up. This is the princess. The princess speaks through her head. So when she pushes sound out, it almost feels like it's coming out the top of her head. So when I say princess, we are going to say, I want to go to the ball and push the sound out through our head. So on the count of three, we're gonna try that together as the princess. One, two, three. I am going to go to the ball. Awesome, everyone. So now our voices are totally warmed up. Our bodies are warmed up. You can let me know in the chat if you're feeling warm, if you're feeling good, if you're excited for some more games. I'd love to hear your feedback. Um, it's always really great to get your body ready to go in order to be ready for a theater game. So the next thing we're going to play, uh, Zach says he likes the prince, awesome. Monica thought the witch was funny. I think the witch is funny too. I always love doing that voice and pushing the sound out through my nose. It sounds so silly. Um, all right, so for our next game, we're going to be thinking about body language. I wonder if anyone knows what I mean when I say body language. Hmm. You can put a yes or a no in the chat if you know what body language is. Hmm. Aaron says yes, awesome. Monica says, yes, great. So it sounds like we all know what body language is. 
So right now, we're going to think about how our body language lets other people know what we're thinking and what we're feeling. So what we are going to do is we are going to play a game called facial expression. So how this is going to work is I am going to make a face. I am going to use my face to express an emotion. And I'm going to ask for Robin's help a little bit here to help describe what is happening on my face. So. Hello I'm everybody. To... Oh, I just want everyone to hear. This is Robin's beautiful voice. And I will be describing your facial expressions today. So go ahead, Frankie, when you're ready. I am ready to describe. Thank you so much, Robin. Um, so Robin is going to describe my facial expression. If you think you know what emotion my face is expressing, tell us in the chat. So, oh, it sounds like someone said, oh, Cammie likes the princess. Awesome. I really like the princess too. The princess was really fun. Um, so I'm going to make a facial expression and then Robin will describe it. And you tell me what emotion you think my face is expressing. So I'm going to start on the count of three. I'm going to put my best facial expression on and I'll let Robin describe. All right, so here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, we're looking at her face and starting from the bottom up, her mouth, big smile, lots of teeth, then moving up to her nose, which is perfectly placed on her face. Then her eyes, which are kind of bright and very fun. So it looks like her smile is radiating up through her nose, around through her eyes, and beaming from her face. I wonder what emotion that could hmm. be. And while you're writing your answer, maybe you could make that face as well and see if it matches what you wrote. Ooh, we already have an answer. Someone's got it. It looks like George said happiness. And now I wonder oh, what- wait, 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 you have more, more takers. Oh, so more Jorge, takers. Jorge says happiness. Cammie agrees with happy. Now, Frankie, I think we should encourage everybody. Why, does, why doesn't everybody try to make a big smile? Eyes feeling good. Because if you're happy, your whole body starts to feel happy. Yes. Anybody else? Because it looks like happy is our winner. Oh, and yes. I'm happy right now just smiling while I'm talking about being happy. <laughs> does, does my voice now sound happy while I'm smiling and feeling happy? Yes. Oh. <laughs> All right. So on the count of three, I want everyone to make their biggest, happiest face. So on the count of three, here we go. One, two, three, big smile. I want to feel everyone's happiness radiating from their smile all the way through their nose, all the way through their eyes. I'm putting my arms up in the air because I feel so, so happy. Okay, Frankie, I'm so happy my cheeks hurt. Does anybody else? Oh my gosh, I know, cheeks? right? I'm so that happy my cheeks are going, girl, you are happy. Does anybody else have a cheek situation? <laughs> if you're feeling that, tell us in the chat. Oh my goodness. I'm, uh, Aaron is ecstatic. I love that. Ecstatic is like the biggest form of happy. I love it so much. Awesome. Oh man, but I'm definitely feeling that cheek problem, Robin. I like, my cheeks are killing. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should have done like a cheek stretch or something to get me ready yeah. for it. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to try another facial expression. And I can't wait to hear what some of your ideas are. So 
on the count of three, I'm going to reveal the next facial expression. Here we go. One, two, three. Now her whole body language, starting from her waist up, her arms are folded across her body and then moving up to her shoulders, which kind of look tight, very aggressive almost. Then going up to her chin, which is a little scrunched because her mouth is pursed together, lip pouted out. Then her nose is almost feeling pointy, even though it hasn't moved. But then going up to her eyes, they're not big and bright when she was happy. They're kind of downturned a little bit. And her eyebrows now are also coming down. So everything about her body seems to be scrunching in. Eyebrows coming closer together. Her wonderful nystagmus is moving back and forth, but very, very directed. Her pout Definitely a big lip and those arms are folded across her body with her shoulders very tight. Mm, even describing that has made me use a different tone of voice. It I, wonder what, I wonder what this one is. What is this feeling? Arms across, folded, pouty lips, narrow eyes. Hmm. Oh, Cami has already put in sad. Ooh. Ooh. Let's see if we can hear from a few other people. I like where Cammie is going with this one. I do too. I like where Cammie is going with this. And I really like what you said, Robin, about how when you were describing my face, it made you feel a certain way. It kind of the way you were describing it made you have a reaction. Um, oh, Aaron says disappointed. Interesting. So we have so sad. Frankie, I have, a, I have a question. We started okay. talking about theater and now we're talking about these facial expressions. We're using our tone of voice. Are these skills of an actor? They are. So this is actually a really great question. When you're an actor, a lot of how you get to portray a character is through these skills. So if you are in a play and you are a character who had just had something really sad happen to them, but you are not feeling sad, your life is great. You're getting to be in a play. That's super exciting. But your character has to feel sad. So as an actor, it's really an important skill for you to be able to show that you're feeling sad in the play. You need to be able to show it with your body, with your tone of voice, so that the people in the audience believe that you are really sad. Because that's really what an actor's job is all about, is being able to put themselves in that character's shoes and really express what that character is feeling. So for example, you guys gave some great answers, sad, disappointed. I'm not really feeling sad or disappointed right now. I'm feeling super excited because I get to be in this class with you guys. But I needed to be able to turn that excitement off and turn my sad, disappointed face on in order to play this game with all of you. So oh, that was so a really I good get I guess that's what we need to learn then is that if somebody's going to say, like when you're acting, if you're going to say, oh, I'm happy, you can't sound or look sad. You right. have to actually make sure that you're matching. Is that right? You have to make sure that your face, your body language, and your voice, do those all have to match in order to be a good actor? Oh yes, if you wanna be a good actor, you have to put it all together. You need to be able to get up on stage and show with your body that you're sad. You need to be able to show with your voice that you're sad. You need to just really be able to sell it to the audience that you have totally transformed. You're not your happy self in this moment. 
you are now this sad character or vice versa. Maybe you're having a hard day, but you need to go on stage and turn it off for a little bit and really jump into that happy feeling. Um, and that's part of why I love theater so much. Um, as an actor, I feel like getting to get up on stage and step into someone else's shoes and try all these different feelings, it, it helps me actually to process some of the things that I'm feeling. So if I have something going on in my life that's making me feel frustrated, if I, you know, get to play a character that's feeling frustrated, I get to kind of channel that and use that. And it's a great way to really access all of your emotions and try different things. And being an actor is really fun. But anyway, the point is, yes, these are really important skills um, to have if you want to be an actor. Um, so now getting back to the game, um, you guys were right. I was going for sad and the difference, right? When I was happy, we were all smiling. It was big, positive energy. And even when Robin was describing my happy face, her energy transformed into something big and happy. But then when we went with sad and disappointed, because I think those both kind of go together, those are both negative emotions. And Robin's voice, when she was describing how I was feeling, matched my body language. She started to sound a little more down and negative versus the happy perkiness in her voice before. So this is something that I really want to talk about as well, how our body language can have, it can almost inspire other people to have a reaction, right? So if you walk up to someone and they are having a big pouty face, you might start to feel a little sad or wonder why they're feeling sad or vice versa. If you have a big pouty face, people are going to wonder what's wrong. And they might ask you and you, you know, it's important to think about how your body language is presenting your emotions. So we're going to do one more. Um, actually, sorry, before we do one more, I want all of us to try our sad faces on the count of three. So on the count of three, I want everybody to let your whole face kind of scrunch up. You can cross your arms. Sometimes when I'm sad, I put my face in my hands. So really let your whole body feel that sad feeling on the count of three. One, two, three, big sad. Oh man, I like have my face scrunched up. I am feeling the sadness. Oh man. All right, so we are going to try one more. I'm gonna do my facial expression and body language on the count of three and Robin is gonna be the best assistant and describe for me. All right, so here we go on the count of three. One, two, three. Oh, well, we already just heard a gasp. And now looking at her, her hands are placed on either side of her cheek. So grasping it, her mouth is open, but the biggest part of this are her eyes. They're bright. So everything about her body language is <gasps> that gasp feeling, big open mouth, hands on both sides of her face, eyes big and bright. Hmm. Now what emotion is she acting? Oh, so quick already in the chat from Joy. Who said oh, surprised. I love it. Mm -hmm. Yes, surprised. That's it. I got another surprise. Awesome. And that's exactly right. That's totally what I was going for. Or shocked. Oh, Erin, that's a great one. Shocked. Surprised. Shocked. These all kind of mean something similar. Feeling like, oh my goodness, what is happening? Um, those are great answers. So it's really important. What I want you guys to really take away from this game is that how you express yourself using your, just your face can tell people so many 
things about how you are feeling. If you have a big smile, it's an immediate signal to someone that you are feeling good. If you have the opposite, if your mouth is down and frowning, it's an immediate signal to someone that maybe you're not having the best day. And same thing. If you have a big open, open mouth, big eyes, that might say to someone that you are feeling surprised and shocked. So really how we use our bodies can tell us a lot. And as actors, that's something that we always are thinking about when we are playing a role. We think about how that character might show surprise or how that character might show their sadness or their anger or their frustration. And that might be a little different than how I as a person show it on my face. But so it's really important to have all of these tools to use your body to show emotion. So on the count of three, I want you guys to try and I want to see, um, well, your cameras are off, but I want you all to try your most shocked face. Shocked, surprised. All right. On the count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. <gasps> oh, and I can just imagining what all of your shocked faces look like. Awesome. All right. That was great, everyone. Um, and thank you so much for all of your answers in the chat. So now that our bodies, we've worked on expressing ourselves with our bodies, now we're going to do something a little different. We are going to work on showing emotion with our voices. So we are going to, um, in this game, this is, we're going to work through a couple of scenarios. So scenarios are situations that we might run into in our daily lives. In the theater, we call those scenes. Scenes are the interactions that happen between the actors. So when I'm on stage talking to someone else, we're in a scene together. So Robin is gonna be my fabulous assistant to help demonstrate this a little bit. So this is how this is gonna go. We are going to, Robin and I are going to have a scenario. I'm going to send Robin an emotion. And she and I are going to have a quick back and forth around that emotion. So I'm going to send it to her in the chat. And I want you guys to guess what our emotion is about what our scene is about. Well, I have a question then, Frankie. Are these real theater games? These and are, yeah. So, so did you do this in your acting classes? Like, I love this. Are these real theater games that we're doing right now? Oh my gosh, they are. So I went to school for theater. I got my um, college degree in theater. And these were things that I would do in my college classes. We would have to get up with a partner and we would have to act out different scenes and we would have to step into other people's shoes and see what it feels like to work with someone else in these emotions. All right, so Robin, I'm sending it right now. Okay. So you're gonna get the emotion. So could, could we play these games with other people and it would still work? Absolutely. So you could even do all of these warm up games that we've been doing, like with the um, the fairy tale game. That's more fun to do with other people. You can do it by yourself to warm up, but you can do that with other people. You could have one person being the king or the queen and you being the giant and then you can switch. Um, so it's you can always do this with other people and oh especially goodness. the scenes. I, I love this. Wait, oh, could I, I'm going to get my, um, I'm holding up my bottle of lotion. I'm going to pretend that this is my Oscar for yes. acting. So um, after we do this, if everybody thinks I should be awarded my best supporting lotion Oscar, <laughs> I think that would be uh, super fun. And wait a minute, I have another question because now I'm like super into this. 
So is theater for high school students or is it just for college students? Like who? Oh, get into theater this? is for everybody. Oh, theater wow. is for everybody. I started doing theater when I was five years old and I did it all the way to now. I still do theater. Um, so it's for everyone. Okay, and I'm, I'm getting ready. I'm warmed up. I've got my best supporting Oscar lotion bottle. That is my, I favorite. love it. Well, I, I will let the students tell me if I've been awarded this one, but let's get, let's get to the real theater game. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. So I'm going to, I'll start Robin. I'm going to ask you a question to sort of get your, our scene going. Okay. Okay. All right. And so you respond based on this emotion. All right. Robin, okay. I was wondering if you would be the keynote speaker at the Oscars this year. So would you be willing to stand up in front of an audience full of people to talk? Oh, um, like, like the whole auditorium, like, um, ooh, uh, the real Oscars, like, um, ooh, uh, oh, yeah. of people. The uh, real Oscars with lots of people. What do you think? Oh, wow. <laughs> My hands are a little sweaty right now. Um, <laughs> thank you for thinking about ab ab about me. Can I just, I might want to rub my ears a little bit for-, for, for <laughs> Well, it's okay. For, you can think about it. Why don't you oh, think about it? And then you let me know. Oh, okay. Yeah, I will, I will definitely, um, I will, I will get back to you. I got to wipe my hands off and maybe put on some- Extra, extra deodorant. I'm kind of, kind of sweating thinking about all those people looking at me. Ooh. All right, and scene. Uh, uh, that was awesome, Robin. Why don't we all give Robin a round of applause? She was a fabulous volunteer. Thank you, thank you. Um, and you guys gave some great answers in the chat. Erin said scared. Joyce said nervous. Cami said shy. Guys, the word we were going for, I'm going to give a little drum roll, then Robin, do you want to tell them? All right, here we go, drum roll. Oh, did you say it, Robin? I didn't, I was waiting for you. Oh, okay, go, ready? Three, two, one, it was? Nervous. Yes, nervous. So Joy, oh, you wait were- a minute. Does everybody think I should get my Oscar, my lotion bottle that I'm pretending to be an Oscar? Um, what does everybody think? Did I, should I get it? Did I do a good job of acting? Oh, thank you, Erin. I'd, I'd like to thank the, the Academy, Frankie, everybody. This, <laughs> this special Oscar lotion bottle will stay here on my desk. I will, thank you. Thank you to my parents who believed in me. Okay. <laughs> I love everybody. it. All right. Oh, it sounds like everyone is saying yes. I love it. Oh, thank you. So there were a lot of things that I want to point out that Robin did to let us know that she was feeling nervous. She was sort of telling us how she was moving her body. She said that her hands were sweaty. She felt like she needed to rub her ears. But I don't know about all of you, but what really told me that Robin was feeling nervous was the way she used her voice. She got a little quieter. She started saying things like, oh, um, uh, I'm not sure. She paused. She kind of was questioning herself a little bit. And that to me really let me know that she was feeling nervous or shy or scared. Like all of you guys said, so you guys did a great job of really listening to her voice and figuring out what emotion she was trying to convey. So we're going to do one more example, and then I'm going to ask if there are any brave volunteers who want to try this with me. So let's do another example. Robin, are you up for another example? 
Well, I, I did win the Oscar lotion. So maybe let's see if I can, maybe I might win the Oscar oh, lotion this yes. time. I've got the Oscar lotion ready. I can be a presenter if everybody thinks we could do that. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So do you want to, why don't you give me an emotion to do this time? Ooh, let's see. Actually, Frankie, don't look at the chat. Okay. Anybody who texts me something right now or puts it in the chat, we will go with that. And Frankie will not look at her chat at all. So if anybody wants to send me an emotion that we could use, because there's so many good ones. I have one idea, but I'll just look and see if anybody types in. I'll give you three more seconds and we will, Frankie, you probably don't need to um, close your eyes since you have a vision impairment. That's just true. Don't, don't look I'm always just, that. see, it's the, it's the actress in me. I That's just right. like, I go big or go home, you know? <laughs> okay. So I already have a suggestion that Great. I already have. So now do I, am I going to say that to you? Am I going to tell you the word or should I? do another oh no I know I'm gonna ruin the game so I have a suggestion I'm gonna take that one and maybe one other one and I'm gonna see which one we're gonna do okay okay I've sent it okay so Robin picked one of your suggestions um Robin, do you maybe want to come up with oh, a right. scenario to start us off you know now that I've gotten my Oscar it's, it's amazing how lazy I've become. Okay, so real theater game, here we go. Frankie, I need to inform you that you were just named valedictorian of your senior class. Oh my gosh, really? Wait, are you serious? Sure. I'm the valedictorian? You are valedictorian of the expanded oh. core curriculum high school. Oh my God! In Neverland, California, yes. It. Oh, I've worked so hard. I just, I just didn't even think this was gonna happen. And oh my gosh! Scene. Okay. All right. I took some of your suggestions. I gave a secret one to Frankie. What emotion? Which you did very well. I will be the first one to say. I think you are in contention for getting the Oscar lotion. Oh, thank you. Any ideas? What emotion did Frankie act for us? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what might be people's oh, ideas. Oh, here comes our answers. Uh, so, oh my gosh, I love these. I see. I'm feeling all of these things about your answers. <laughs> yep. Excited. And the, oh. Wait a minute, excited, perfect, yes. So Frankie, were they right or were they wrong? Oh, so we have excited, thrilled, happy. You guys were right. We were going for excited. All right, so, so you guys are the Academy. Do you think Frankie wins the Oscar lotion bottle from my desk? What do you guys think? Type a Y for yes, type an N for no. Best dramatic actress in an excited role. Oh, I yeah. hope I get it. I really hope I get it. Oh my goodness. I see oh, all yes. capital letters. Yes, Frankie, I am awarding you the Oscar lotion bottle. There you go. Based on oh. best dramatic work. Thank you. I would like to thank um, the Excel Academy for giving me this opportunity. <laughs> thanks, guys. Oh, thanks, Cammy. I love it. That okay, I have to fun. know who is having fun just watching our little theater scene. Is anybody else having as much fun as I think maybe Frankie and I are at Africa? I'm having a blast. <laughs> While we wait for our answers, I want to know, Frankie, is theater always this fun? Because I'm having fun. Well, that's I'm so glad that you're having fun. I think theater is always fun. Sometimes, though, it can be a little hard because like we were talking about, if you have to play a sad character, sometimes it might not feel as fun as when you're being excited, right? It might, it feels like a little bit more of a challenge, but I don't know about you guys, but I feel 
Like when I'm challenged, that's something fun for me. I like to rise to the challenge and get it done. So sometimes theater can be a little bit, it's a little bit more hard work, but it's always fun. I always love getting the chance to be on stage and try to be someone new. Um, so before we do our next one, I, I would love it if we could have another volunteer to play this game with me. Um, so think about it. If you'd like to try, let us know in the chat while I'm talking. You can type a yes or a Y for yes. If you'd like to get your chance to win the Oscar lotion bottle. Um, but what I really wanna think about is when Robin and I did our scenes, she was showing one emotion and I was showing another. And there was a huge difference when Robin was being nervous, like we said, she was really quiet and she was speaking very slowly, taking a lot of pauses, saying things like, um, uh, she, there was a lot of uncertainty. She was quiet and her voice was a little shaky. When I was excited, it kind of felt like the opposite. I was being loud. I was using my whole body, putting my hands up in the air. I was talking faster. So you can tell a lot from someone's voice about how they're feeling. And that's something that I want you guys to think about because this is a theater game, right? And these are skills that are super important if you're going to be an actor. But these are also skills that are really important to think about for your daily life. Yes, it's important if you're an actor to be able to get up on stage and change your face and your voice in order to be happy or sad because the character is happy or sad. But when you're out in your daily life having conversations with people, those rules still apply. So you might be having a conversation with someone and you might be feeling pretty good. You might be feeling really happy, but your face is frowning and kind of just, what do we, what do we call it, Robin? A little bit like dead face. You're not really showing anything to anyone. And so people might not really know what you're feeling, but if you, you know, change your face, if you have a smile on your face, that signals to someone that you're feeling happy. So really the point is, yes, these are skills for theater, but these are also things that are really important to think about for your day-to-day -day social interactions and how you engage with other people. So does anyone feel like being brave and trying their chance to win the Oscar? You can type a Y for yes in the chat or no, an N for no. I'm thinking about, while you guys are answering, I'm thinking about what our next emotion might be. Hmm. I don't know, Frankie. I don't see any actors. I see lots of people in our audience. So I don't know. Maybe it'll just be us again. If, if you would just rather watch Robin and Frankie act out something. You I mean... You can Robin, we could start a show. We could have our, a two-woman show. Maybe this is my second calling. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, oh my goodness. Hold on, I'm putting my video on. Maybe Hugh Jackman will see this performance and say, I have to act with these women. These women are amazing. Hugh I Jackman, hope so. I That's the dream. <laughs> I, I'm available for Broadway, for a musical whatever you would like to do. Okay, Frankie, secretly give me an emotion. Let's see if I can act it out and they can guess. Okay, all right, so there's your emotion. I just sent it to her and I'll, I'll kick you off with the scenario, with the scene, sound good? Yeah. All right, here we go. Okay, Robin, I have something I need to tell you. Um, I accidentally broke your Oscar lotion bottle. 
Oh. Yeah, I know you just got it and I know it's like really new, but I, I broke it. I'm being very quiet right now. Just giving this big space. You broke my highly coveted, highly important, just awarded, limited edition Oscar lotion bottle. I'm, yeah, I'm I did. taking a deep breath in through my nose and pushing it out through my mouth. I feel like I want to start screaming because it is a limited edition Oscar lotion bottle. But uh, very interesting, very interesting. I, I don't think I could replace that. I'm sorry. I'm just going to purse my lips really fast. Look at you with narrow, beautiful <laughs> blue eyes and keep breathing in and out. All right, and scene. All right, everyone. So let us know what you think Robin might have been feeling in the chat, what her emotion was. I'm gonna say, I was a little scared. I don't, I don't think I, I don't think I ever really want to break your uh, Oscar My lotion bottle. Oscar lotion bottle. All right. Oh yes. Answer coming through from Cami. Mad. Well, yes. More just to see what other people say. Yes. And what I they would love interpreted. To. They heard. So Cami has said mad. And that Robin, was. you told us a lot with your voice. I tried. You did great. All right. Does anybody agree? Oh, Aaron has said upset. Mm -hmm. What do you say? I, I, I'm agreeing. I was definitely, definitely angry. Yes. Cammy yes. and Aaron. And now since I can't get an Oscar lotion, a Tony award is for Broadway, right? And theater. So I have now have a green lizard and his tongue <laughs> is a roll of tape. So my Tony Lizard Award, I'm wondering, do you guys think I did a good enough job convincing you that I was angry? Do I now receive the Tony Lizard Award? What does everybody think? Did I earn this Lizard Tony Award for my theater skills? I'm going to say yes. All I need is one yes, and I will gladly accept it. What, glad, will gladly accept it. One, one yes. Oh, there it is. Cammy oh, with the yes. Aaron with the you. yes. I will happily accept my Tony Lizard Award. Thank you. Thank you to everybody who participated in this Excel Academy. I, now I've been on screen and received an Oscar, and now I'm receiving a Tony Award, which means... <laughs> Hugh Jackman, I am available if you need me for anything. That is Robin, R-O-B-B-I-N, Clark. Back to you, Frankie Ann. Yes. So again, Robin did a fabulous job demonstrating this emotion. She said that she was taking deep breaths in and out. She, the pitch and tone of her voice changed. First, she was very quiet. She was speaking more down here. And then I think as she was processing the emotion and the situation of what happened, her voice started to get a little bit louder and louder and louder because sometimes that happens. There's different stages of the emotion. So when Robin first heard the news, when she was speaking quietly, it sounded like she was just a little upset. But then the more she thought about what happened and losing her coveted Oscar lotion bottle, she started getting madder and madder, thinking about how she wasn't gonna have it anymore. So her voice changed to show us that she was feeling angrier and angrier and angrier. And she just told us in the chat, yes, I was brewing with anger at the idea that my beloved Oscar lotion was ruined. So that's really important to think about too. 
How you use your voice can tell you so many things. It can tell someone if you're feeling just a little bit upset or if you are full on mad. If you're feeling just a little sad, you might just have a little frowny face, your eyes might be down, you might talk a little bit quieter like this. But if you're really sad, like really, really, really sad, your voice might start to shake and you might start to cry. So there's a lot of different ways that we use our bodies and our voices to let people know what we are feeling. And these are really the first set of skills that you learn as an actor. So again, these are really fun theater games. And I love doing this. I love doing theater as an actor. But part of what doing theater has done for me as a person with a vision impairment is it's taught me how to engage in social interactions and how my voice, my body, the way that I present myself tells other people how I'm feeling. You can gauge so much from a person just by listening to their voice. Because for me, sometimes it's really hard for me to see what someone's face is doing. I really rely on listening to their tone of voice, how their emotions are shifting, because I can learn that from what how they're saying things. So again, these are really fun theater games, um, but I really like to think of it in terms of my own life and how these games can help me in my social interactions. Um, this was so fun. Thank you guys for taking a big leap and being silly with us. Um, again, I know theater can be silly and crazy and fun, but that's the whole thing. It's fun. It's fun to let go and let yourself try to feel different things. Um, and maybe some of you might want to try theater a little bit more. Maybe we have some actors among us who might want to try this out professionally. Who knows? Um, and if you don't, that's okay too. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for playing and participating. I had so much fun. Thank you to APH um, Excel Academy for having me. And I hope maybe I can come back to do some more fun theater with you guys again. Well, thank you so much, Frankie Ann. It was loads of fun. I think you both deserve Oscars, definitely. <laughs> Now, if anyone wants to know what's coming up tomorrow, tomorrow we have Mindfulness Matters. It's really aimed at students with multiple disabilities, but we found that some people just enjoy all of them, so you're welcome to join in. We are also taking next week off for the Thanksgiving holiday, but we will be back at the week following with no problem. So thank you so much, Frankie Ann. Thank you and thank you all so much for joining and having some theater fun.